everybody. Whether you have set up your vendor price list from the previous video or you exported all of your items to pick and choose which inventory parts to import, the next step is to import your vendor price list. Let's go back to our item list. Go to list, item list. Go to the bottom of the screen and click the reports drop down box. Choose price list, customize report. We want the item, description, preferred vendor, unit of measure, price, which is the sales price. And then I'm going to add cost because that might help us compare the price we're importing into the vendor price list. Once you have your item price list columns customized, we need to filter our vendor's name. Go to Customize Report, Filters, scroll to Preferred Vendor, scroll to Foster Lighting. You will see in the current filter choices that your preferred vendor is Foster Lighting. Select OK. The item price list for Foster Lighting is shown. Let's export this to Excel. Go to the Excel dropdown at the center top of your screen. Choose Create New Workbook. Then click Export. This exports your report to Excel. Now that the report is exported, let's go back to our QuickBooks Enterprise. Let's go to List, Add Edit List Entries. We'll choose Vendor Items under the List field. Choose Foster Lighting. The columns on your vendor import are Item Name, Item Description, Item Cost, your vendor part number, your purchase unit of measure, lead time, notes, and the vendor type. Keep in mind that QuickBooks didn't enter a drop-down arrow for choices like they did with other import lists. Let's bring up our Excel spreadsheet. Delete out the blank columns. Then we need to customize the price list for initial import. I added the columns of cost, vendor part number, purchase unit and measure, the lead time, which is configured in days, any notes, the vendor type field can be left blank. As you can see, I also added the information to be imported. The item name and unit of measure has to be the exact same characters as your QuickBooks field. Keep in mind that QuickBooks didn't enter a drop down for your item name or unit of measure column. So if you don't have that exactly like what QuickBooks shows in their software, you will get an error. I will now delete the fields that will not be imported Then copy the cells in Excel and paste into your vendor items worksheet. As I mentioned, the item name and unit measure has to match your QuickBooks field exactly. For example, if we entered the unit of measure abbreviated as EA, we will get an error because QuickBooks has it listed in a different format. I wish QuickBooks had allowed a Dropbox to choose from your available options like they do in the other import worksheets. So if QuickBooks, if you're listening, please add those. If there are any errors, your worksheet will show that error in red. If not, and everything looks good, choose and save your changes. A pop-up box shows the number of records or items saved. Click OK, then close. 
Save your Excel spreadsheet so that the next import for Foster Lighting will be much faster to perform. Perform this for each vendor that will be a preferred or alternate vendor. Now that we have completed our vendor price list import, let's now set up our alternate vendors for inventory. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. You will be alerted when I create another video like this. And thank you so much for watching my video.